Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and prospective students of Art School Wirra. My name is Porik Hanlon, and I am the principal here in Art School Wirra. I am delighted to welcome you to our virtual open evening this evening. We are disappointed that it was not possible for you to come in and view our impressive school as originally planned. In light of the current health guidelines and our commitment to keeping our school and local community safe, this virtual space creates a safe place to share information about our school and the enrolment process. This evening's event is a mere snapshot of what we offer in Ard School Wirra. We plan to facilitate an opportunity to visit the school and meet with students and staff in spring 2022, if the guidelines permit. We look forward to meeting you all during our Zoom call later this evening at 8.15, where the Deputy Principal and I will be available to answer any of your questions. Tonight you will have the opportunity to hear from students and staff, each highlighting what makes Ard School Wear unique and the best choice for your daughter for September 2022. We will provide an overview of our extensive subject choice, the comprehensive range of programmes on offer for students and the systems in place to ensure that each student is provided with an excellent education in a caring and happy environment. Our students are the true ambassadors of our school and they will feature heavily in tonight's presentation. We look forward to hearing from many of our students who will describe their personal experiences of Art School Wera and how they are getting on. We will also have some performances from our school choir and track group, as well as contributions from students involved in our extracurricular programme. Over the past few years, there have been many developments in the school, and I look forward to sharing some of these with you later. These developments are supporting our mission to provide a world-class education for the girls of this community, preparing them to follow whatever path they choose at the end of their secondary education. Choosing a school for your daughter can be a difficult decision, but we hope that tonight's presentation, as well as the respective tradition of excellence that Ard School Wera holds in the community, will support your decision to choose this school for your daughter. We now go over to our track group, who will perform their first piece of the evening.
Hello. We are the Student Council Presidents of Arts Square 2021 to 2022. My name is Chloe. And my name is Shiga. It is such an honour for us to be Student Council Presidents as it is a very important role and we hope to be role models to all the students. Being Student Council Presidents also gives us the opportunity to help everyone in the school. Also being Student Council Presidents, we get to organise events, such as the Christmas Concert and Awareness Weeks. Our Awareness Weeks have been organised before our Friendship Weeks and Mental Health Awareness Weeks. We also organise the fundraisers for the school. Just last month, we did a Halloween fundraiser. We raised over €400 Euro for the paediatric unit of Fort Junkula. As Presidents, we listen to the students' worries, concerns and ideas. We are literally the voice of all the students and the bridge between students and teachers. Having a student council means that there's a clear line of communication between staff and students and that everyone benefits. The student council works by having weekly meetings. Weekly meetings gives us the opportunity to meet with all the class reps who were all voted in by their fellow classmates. Tutor time was a great new addition this year as it's an extra 15 minute period every day to discuss with all the other students. We are looking forward to seeing you in Art School Wera and hope to see you on the Student Council. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Chloe and Giga. As you've seen, our students play a central role in life here in Art School Wera. The Student Council is just one way that they demonstrate their leadership skills in this school. Let's talk a little bit about the history of our school. Art School Wera has a proud tradition of excellence in education here in Ballinasloe. Originally located on Society Street, the Sisters of Mercy provided education for the girls of Ballinasloe since 1919. In recent times, they have handed over trusteeship of the school to Kesht, Catholic Education and Irish Schools Trust, who support the work of our dedicated Board of Management in managing the school. The school moved to its current site, our modern, purpose-built campus here in Macney in 2003. The school has continued to offer the same high standard of education and care for students over the years. As a recent appointment in Art School Wera, I am acutely aware of the exceptional learning experiences provided for all students and how the school community exemplifies the values of care and respect for all who attend our school. We are so fortunate to have a modern, purpose-built campus here on this Greenfield site. The site provides us with the space and facilities to offer each student an exceptional learning and extracurricular experience. The school has three fully equipped laboratories, a science demonstration room, two kitchens, a dress design room, library, sports hall, computer rooms, learning support classrooms, meditation room, 25 general classrooms, as well as our new graphics lab and technology suite, which were completed in September 2021. We are also fortunate to have outdoor basketball courts, tennis courts and pitches which provide our students with every opportunity to actively participate in a wide range of sports both as part of their PE class and as part of our extracurricular programme. The school has a hot food canteen which is operated by an external provider. Parents can order a range of healthy and nutritious lunches which are prepared each day for our students. We are very proud to be a health promoting school and encourage all students to bring a healthy packed lunch to school. We have a number of social spaces available for students to relax and enjoy their lunch in comfort with their friends. Art School Wera provides a wide range of programmes for our students to choose from. Students who enter Art School Wera in 2022 will begin preparation for their junior cycle. This is a broad and varied programme which includes both core and optional subjects. We are also very proud to offer an excellent well-being programme which supports the students in line with the Department of Education well-being specifications. I will discuss subjects and courses studied in a few moments. Having completed their junior cycle, students will then choose whether to advance into transition year, leaving certificate established or the leaving certificate applied programmes. A comprehensive presentation and information night is provided for third year students and their parents in advance of this decision to support you in making this decision. Transition year is a fantastic year for students to undertake between junior cycle and leaving certificate. It is an optional programme that focuses on developing students' skills and competencies through project work and a wide range of subjects and activities. We are well known for our musical productions, which we hope to stage again in February 2022. At Senior Cycle, we offer a broad programme, which includes all the science subjects, 
three business subjects and a wide selection of other subjects that prepare students to complete whatever course they choose to do in third level. LCVP is an add-on module designed to give a vocational focus to the established Leaving Certificate programme. This programme combines the virtues of academic study with a new and dynamic focus on self-directed learning, enterprise, work and the community. Young people taking the LCVP have a unique opportunity to develop their interpersonal, vocational and technological skills. The Leaving Certificate Applied Programme is a two-year Leaving Certificate programme aimed at preparing students for adult and working life. And it offers an alternative pathway to students who do not complete the Leaving Certificate Established Programme. The programme sets out to recognise the talents of all students and to provide opportunities for developing personal responsibility, self-esteem and self-knowledge and help students apply what they learn in the real world. We also have a special class in Ard School Wera. It is designed for students with mild to moderate learning needs. These students follow the Level 1 and Level 2 programmes from the Junior Cycle. They focus on practical tasks and life skills. They enjoy trips away and working with their teachers and SNAs to develop confidence and self-esteem and the skills necessary to live independently. Let's focus on the junior cycle, as this is the course that the majority of students will study. Firstly, each student is permitted to complete examinations in a maximum of 10 subjects. These are complemented by a range of well-being subjects, which are also reported on each student's profile of achievement. Each student will study a number of core and optional subjects. The core subjects are Irish, English, Mathematics, History, Geography, a Modern Foreign Language and Religious Education. They will then choose to study a further three subjects from our option bands. These include Science, Art, Music, Business, Home Economics, Graphics and Applied Technology. We understand that this can be a daunting choice for the students concerned, so we provide each student with the opportunity to try each subject for the first few weeks. Once they have completed this taster programme, they can then make a more informed decision. In order to adequately prepare for September, there will be a follow-up meeting with parents in the spring to provide a more comprehensive outline of the subjects on offer here in the school. The wellbeing programme is delivered to support students in their learning. Each student will complete modules in physical education, digital literacy, mindfulness, friends for life mental health programme, social personal health education, civic, social and political education, as well as guidance education. This programme is also supported by our tutors, who meet with their class group on a regular basis to support them during their time in school. We're now going to share some practical information with you with regards to the school. We are delighted to operate a book rental scheme in the school. This is a very popular option for students and parents alike. There is a reduced fee for students who hold a medical card and further details will be shared with you once the enrolment process has been completed. Our school uniform is a very important part of our students' identity and our junior students wear a green sweater, navy trousers or tartan skirt and yellow blouse for their school uniform. They must also wear plain black or navy shoes. The school uniform is available from Kids Corner here in Ballinasloe. For PE, our students wear a tracksuit and crested top, which will be available through the school. Evening study is provided each day for two hours after school. This is a very popular option for students, especially if they find it difficult to focus and concentrate at home. This offers a distraction-free, exam-style environment to complete their homework and start their revision and study. This year we have moved to six 60-minute lessons. This has proved very successful for students and their learning. From a learning point of view, they have many more opportunities to engage in active learning methodologies in their lessons. From a practical point of view, it has reduced the weight of school bags as students only have to bring materials for six lessons. It has led to homework being more condensed and has reduced pressure on students when it comes to examinations and class tests. We are fortunate to have excellent public transport links here in, towards Galwera. Some of these bus runs are operated by Bus Aaron, and others are run by private bus operators. Should you have any queries in relation to accessing transport towards Galwera, please contact the school office and Tina and or Sandra will direct you to the appropriate operator. We use the information management system VSWare to track our students' attendance, behaviour and academic results.
This information can also be accessed by you via the VSWare app. We will provide you with login details and instructions once the enrolment process has been completed. There will be a detailed information pack distributed to all who enrol with us. This pack will provide you with comprehensive information about the book rental scheme, our school uniform, school transport, the school calendar, information about evening study and ordering your lunch. Arts Kulwira is very fortunate to have 41 experienced, dedicated and highly motivated teachers. These include resource teachers, additional support teachers and a guidance counsellor. We have five special needs assistants who work tirelessly with students who struggle to access the curriculum. Sandra and Tina provide exceptional support to students, staff and parents alike in our school office. They are always available to help and support in any way that they can. Jerry, our care caretaker, ensures that everything is in order each day and is always on hand to help students and staff when required. We pride ourselves on the care afforded to every student who attends our school. Era. One of the benefits of a close-knit school community is the way that our students are known as individuals by their teachers and our staff in general. Your daughter will have no more than 90 students in her year. This group will complete our induction programme with their class tutors, 50 year mentors and their year heads. Building up a relationship with our students from the outset provides us with the unique ability to identify and sort out any worries or concerns at an early stage. The year heads, deputy principal and I remain available to parents or guardians to support your daughter's transition to secondary school in whatever way we can. Ms Hines and I will go through the care structures in the school a little later on. Hi, my name is Emma Mitchell and I'm in fifth year. I play football for Banisau Football Club who recently won the county final and I also play with Galway County Miners who won the Connacht final during the year. I play Camogie with Banislow who are two through to the county final at the end of this month and I also play Banislow Rugby and I represented Connacht under 18 in the interventionals during the summer. I'm here today to talk to you about the sport and activities our school have to offer. I too play all three, camogie, football and rugby, as well as volleyball with the school. Sport in the school also gives you a great opportunity to meet new friends, with the likes of girls who may be from neighbouring clubs and who may be rivals on the pitch. Trips away to matches create a great bond between the girls, with all the laughing and singing on the buses. Sport in our school career has proven to be an overall academically beneficial for both Leaving Cert and Junior Cert. Sport helps you to focus better which leads to more productive studying and overall better results in the end. Players get a big input in all sports. With, for example, with the footballers we got to help create and design the football jerseys as well as we get to help with big decisions on and off the pitch which helps, which helps to lead to more independence with through all the girls and management on the team. Our school era has a great history of achievements in sports. They have won multiple Connacht finals in both camogie and football. We have also won the Rugby X7s All-Ireland and both Junior and Senior Rugby Connacht Cup. The volleyball teams are very successful in not only competing but also winning multiple All-Irelands. I myself would truly recommend that all you new girls who are attending our school year next September will participate or even try a new sport here in the school. It is one of the many reasons I myself decided to come to the school. And who knows, maybe you will be the next volleyball All-Ireland winners or even Connacht finalists in camogie or football. here in our school era. Music is an elective subject here in our school and you have the opportunity to study it for junior cycle and leave insert. We all do music in transition year. All TY students produce and participate in our annual school musical. I had a leading role in the musical Footloose. While it was tough work we had such fun making the show and it was sent out as one of my most memorable moments here in our school era. The musical is an excellent opportunity for students to learn and develop their skills such as leadership skills, teamwork and creativity. 
This year, as part of the TY Music Programme, we have introduced a, a co-educational module with the TY students in Garbley College, where students do activities such as cheer drumming and dance. Another big part in our school is our choir and traditional group. I am a member of the traditional group and we rehearse at lunchtime and play at school events throughout the year. We have a senior and junior choir in our school. Our choir takes part in our school liturgies and have won many prestigious awards. They also have performed in concerts with Rachel Good and the Irish Tenors. They are currently rehearsing for a Crick Carol service this Christmas. Hi, I'm Lisa. Today I'm going to talk about my experience of being an art student in Art School Wara. What I love about art is that it is a way to express yourself, to be creative, to make mistakes and to learn from them. In art class I get to work with a wide range of materials and learn new skills. Some of these include drawing, sketchbook work, painting, clay modelling, printmaking. I have also participated in extracurricular activities outside the classroom such as art competitions, art club, gallery visits and in TY my team got through to the regional finals for Junkature. I really enjoyed upcycling materials to create wearable fashion. I also got to model my outfit in front of thousands of people which was a great experience and it really boosted my confidence. Well that's all for me, I hope that you enjoyed listening to my experience of being an art student in Art School Wara. Care for our students is at the centre of all we do here in Art School Wara. Our pastoral care team includes our senior management team, year heads, tutors and three trained counsellors. We meet regularly to identify any issues or needs that may arise and implement strategies to support our students. We also have a very well established body system where our fifth year students act as bodies to our first year students to support them in the transition from sixth class to first year. We have sixth year prefects who are assigned to each junior class and who meet with them regularly to ensure they are settled and happy in school. They feed back any concerns to staff to add another layer of support for our school community. Our guidance counsellor supports students in both vocational and personal guidance. Students with additional needs are supported by our SEN coordinator and team of learning support teachers. Students with additional needs, including the exceptionally able, are identified from data gathered from primary school passports, parental communications, psychological assessments and the various assessments carried out in school, including CAT4, new group reading test, numeracy and literacy assessments. Supports available include additional support lessons, team teaching, individualised programmes, access to laptops, devices with appropriate software and other interventions that may be relevant. Our exceptionally able students are encouraged to go outside the curriculum to enhance their educational experience and become involved in various projects, competitions, third level programmes or events that enhance their natural talents. Our first year students begin school in late August before all other year groups to experience school life in a less crowded environment. They will have two days of settling into school, meeting their year head, tutors and all their subject teachers as well as their classmates. They will learn how to read their timetable, organise their books, get their journal and learn about the rules and procedures of the school day. They will engage in getting to know you games and activities to help them make new friends and get to know everyone in their class. Our sixth year prefects act as guides and mentors during these two days to help our new students settle in.
to all levels for nearly 10 years now in North Skarduera. We offer many different extracurricular activities here in North Skarduera. Students choose to participate in these activities because they are fun, interesting and healthy in both mind and body. These activities are a break from study to relax, rewind and recharge. Through these activities our students can stand out displaying lifelong skills such as leadership, motivation, teamwork, commitment and taking responsibility. Also, as studies suggest, there is a strong correlation between those students who actively participate in extracurricular activities and attaining excellent results. My name is Carmel Scott and I'm a business and maths teacher here at Ord Squalora. I'm proud to be part of a dedicated and energetic team of teachers. We work hard to inspire, motivate and challenge our students. We recognise that all our students are unique and aim to help each student individually. We help students having difficulty with subjects and we aim to equip all students with the skills necessary to thrive in exams. We are continually learning and honing our teaching methods and skills to give our students the best possible chance of success. We are keen to achieve academic excellence and our results compare favourably with other schools. For example, last year half of the students sitting the Leave Cert Accounting achieved a H1, which was double the national average. I look forward to welcoming in the new first year students in September and supporting them on their learning journey here at Ords Gwalora. Hello, my name is Miss Grehan and I'm a new teacher here in Ords Gwalora. I currently teach Gwaelga and Geography. I'm also a past pupil of Ords Gwalora. I have many fond memories from my time here, from class trips to guest speakers, to the general fun I had from day to day in the classroom. However, the one element that truly stands out to me when I think back to my time here are the teachers. I can remember very clearly how dedicated and hardworking the teachers were. The teachers always encouraged us to achieve in the classroom while helping us develop into young adults, preparing us for our next chapter in our lives. The teachers did all of this while also creating an encouraging, warm and enthusiastic learning environment. It is safe to say that this is still the case today. Since returning to Arts Goera as a teacher, I have had the opportunity to once again experience this positive and welcoming learning environment. I've also had the opportunity to work alongside some of the teachers who taught me when I was a student here and who subsequently inspired me to become a teacher. Today the teachers still encourage the girls to reach their full potential both inside and outside the classroom. As a past pupil of Arts Goera and as a current teacher I can wholeheartedly recommend this school for you. We are delighted to have extended our subject offering this year with two new practical subjects. Students now have the opportunity to study graphics and applied technology. Thanks to the support of our Board of Management and a quarter of a million euro investment from the Department of Education, our students also have a state-of-the-art technology suite and graphics lab with all of the necessary equipment. 
We are thrilled to be extending our STEAM offering for students and look forward to developing them in the future. I'm now going to hand you over to our technology and graphics teacher, Mr. Alif, who will give you a brief outline of these new subjects. Hi, I'm Mr. Alif. I'm the subject teacher for Applied Technology and Graphics, the two new subjects introduced in North School Wear this year. We have a state-of-the-art technology suite in Graphics Lab. Our technology suite is designed to promote creativity with a bright and vibrant colour scheme. It's equipped with a laser cutter for rapid prototyping, 3D printers for additive manufacturing, and a range of workshop machinery allowing our students to develop practical making skills while working with a range of different materials. In our graphics lab, students have access to the most up-to-date CAD software, 3D printers, coding and robotic resources, and a number of graphic construction aids which allowed them to explore their own role in shaping the world around them. Applied Technology is a hands-on design and make subject which encourages students to take an active role in developing creative solutions, to design challenges, and graphics allows students to communicate those solutions graphically in both 2D and 3D formats. By studying graphics, students can gain an appreciation of the importance of graphics in the world around them and develop practical skills such as graphical communication and creative problem solving. And they will also develop their design capability and modern skills, both physically and through using computer-aided design. Design and technology art school wear is a place for students to imagine, to learn, to fail, to make and remake. We are delighted to be working closely with our neighbours in Garberley College this year. Our transition year students have two hours per week co-educational classes where they study a range of modules on a rotational basis. Students are currently completing modules in social dancing, art, music, relationships education, sports and woodwork. This is proving very successful and we look forward to developing resource sharing possibilities in the future. We encourage all our students to be confident leaders. This can be clearly seen in the work of our student council, but also in the work of our fifth year buddies and also by our sixth year prefects. These students work together with staff and the wider student body to ensure that Ord School Wera is a happy place where all students are learning and where the, the students' views are actively considered when decisions are being made. We pride ourselves on the calm learning environment that exists in Ord School Wera. If you took a walk through our building on a given day, you would observe engaged students learning and working respectfully with their teachers and friends. We do not tolerate disruption or disrespectful behaviour in any way. Promoting positive behaviour and respect is one of the key tenets of our school's code of behaviour. Our code of behaviour works on a point system. Students receive positive points for demonstrating positive behaviour and working to their potential. In the unlikely event that a student is not working to their potential or are not living up to the ex expectations that we set out for them, they receive negative points. These points are all recorded on VSWare, our information management system. This system is implemented by the yearhead, who will be in contact with you if there are any concerns. We like to build up relationships with the parents and guardians in order to work in collaboration with you to ensure that every student is fulfilling their unique potential. Bullying behaviours of any type will not be tolerated and our anti-bullying policy and procedures will be followed in the event that this happens. Should you have any concern at any time, we ask that you make contact with us to discuss the issue regardless how small or trivial that you may feel it may be. We firmly believe that it is important to acknowledge the fantastic work of our students as they work so hard both in class and during their extracurricular activities. Each year we have a range of events that reward excellent behaviour and work ethic. This culminates in our annual awards day where students from across the school are recognised for their achievements and positive contributions to our school. One of the most notable awards is the CARA Award, which is given to the student in each year and class group for their kindness and friendship shown to others in the year. This award is coordinated by our student council and highlights the importance of being kind and living out the values of our school on a daily basis. We have many opportunities for students to go on trips in Ord School Wera, and in the past students have travelled on many overnight trips. Some of these trips have taken place in Ireland, but many of these have been to various European destinations such as France, Germany, Austria and Italy.
This year, our transition year students will travel to Barcelona in Spain in May 2022. Students really enjoy these trips, but they also provide valuable learning and cultural experiences that stand to the students long after they leave Ord Skolwera. We're now going to go and follow some of our first year students who are going to show you what it's like to be a first year student in Ord Skolwera. Take it over, girls. Hi, I'm Petra. I'm a student of 1A. We will be taking you on a day of the life of a first year. <laughs> We also play basketball, kamogi and tennis. Our next subject is applied technology. Let's head into the new applied technology room. Today we are learning how to be organised. Okay Petra, you think you're disorganised? So in this class you're going to work with your organisational skills. The break is a time to relax and chat with our friends. And today we're in maths class. Oh. We're doing interviews. Don't ask me about them, but I'll find out more. Our next subject is music. We will be playing the ukuleles. <laughs> Fergus is demonstrating how to dissect a heart. It's four o'clock now and it's time to go home. So we've come to the end of our virtual evening. You will have already received our enrolment pack from Mr. Handon when he visited your schools last month. Please complete and return application forms by the closing date of November 29th next. To further assist you in making this choice, Mr. Handlin and I will be available live on Zoom at 8.15pm this evening to answer any questions you may have. The Zoom link has been sent to the email address provided when you registered for this event. Thank you and good evening.
Need to find